Hi, Kat Chancellor here with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and here is our pirate box card. This is a great masculine card. This actual card I sent to my nephew and it features a lot of the um, products that are currently in the uh, mini catalog, primarily a, a bundle called the On the Ocean Bundle which has that great pirate ship and the waves. And I'm also using DSP from the By the Bay suite. One of the things I want to point out is that I'm going to show you how to shape the sails and shape the, the hull of the ship so that it really comes with a more 3D effect since this is a, uh, a box card and you really want to kind of have a 3D drama. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate that technique as well. So let's begin by looking at some of the products. Here's the card that we're going to put together. This is the actual card that we're going to assemble. Uh, I'm, it's, it's the same as a Halloween draw, uh, box card that I put earlier. That particular um, card has a PDF. It's the same uh, directions, just different products. So if you have that PDF, you have all everything that you need. PDF is always still available for, for purchase um, and I will have that link available on my blog. Now here's the On the Ocean bundle. We're going to primarily use all the dies that come with it. There are several ocean dies. There's a skull and crossbones and there are the dies for the ships. There's a mast. There's, a, there's the, the hull of the ship and then there is um, the sails and then this is the mast. Now I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to show you how to shape the sails. Those go on top of the mast there but I'm going to cut several. I want you to cut out several pieces of the mast so that you can glue them together and I'm using this 301 advanced glue because it, it, it creates a nice stiff mast for our 3D card because the card is going to is kind of um, bouncy, spongy, springy and you want to make sure that you have a really good uh, foundation for your for your um, for your pirate ship. I'm using um, very vanilla and I'm going to be showing you how to take advantage of the dies. One of the dies cuts out the wave tops using uh, balmy blue. The other one will just cut out a wave shape. That particular very vanilla is going to be backed with our our adhesive sheets. You see there that once you cut them out you're going to have to adhere them to the wave tops. I have a piece of basic black with the foam adhesive sheet and that is what I'm using to cut out my um, skull and crossbones that's going to pop up on our our middle mast on our ship. Here's the pay, the cardstock that we're using. It's Knight of Navy. And I'm going to have all the dimensions on my uh, on my blog. Again, everything's available on the PDF. The front of the card is going to be layered. We're going to have a piece of Knight of Navy, a piece of Balmy Blue. That's going to be layered. And this is 6x6 six six for all these pieces. And, and again, I'll, um, I'll have the, the different dimensions. And the DSP is from this lovely set called um, By the Bay. And it's got some beautiful paper. Everything is very, very nautical. I'm pulling a piece out um, for the background as well as for the front of our card. And you can just see it's just gorgeous. I love the iridescent stamping that, uh, that the, uh, the paper has. We're going to layer the pieces one on top of the other and in layering we're going to use our layering Dorama dies to cut the opening and we're going to do all of these. I'm going to show you how to do it all at once using the layering Dorama dies. If you have your dies nested and I think I'm going to have to kind of organize them here so you can kind of see what I what I mean. And again, this is just like the other uh, project that we did for the Halloween. When you uh, layer your, your Dorama dies as such, you will use the second die in 
from the outside and I have put little um, marks on my dies because they're actually different shapes with different um, for the different layers so let me pull that one out and that's the one we're going to we're going to use um, I like this kind of orientation on the die because I think it gives you space here in the corner to put a sentiment or to embellish somehow but that is what's going to cut open our the front of our card for our for our box card the dies the die will cut through three layers and I'm going to show you how to do that because I have found that that's the only way to really um, ensure that you get the the um, the layers all aligned I'm using some of the mint paper or mint tape that's available on on Amazon uh, I don't have any washi tape so I just have a roll of that that we're going to use for the label I'm using the layering deckled rectangles and it just adds just the perfect shape for the outside of your card and I'm stamping that with um, early espresso ink you can see I have some twine here uh, that kind of adds a little nautical feel and then of course I've cut out the uh, captain's wheel and it has uh, not only the stamp but it also has the die here's my twine just kind of wrapped it around to kind of give it a, a nice nautical nautical accent there's some stamping inside I'm using some uh, background paper I'll show you that piece we're stamping the birds right there's our stamp with a memento me memento black ink on our background you will need sponge daubers in early espresso and Sahara sand uh, you will uh, you will use those two colors and a sponge dauber because we're going to uh, sponge daub our masts and uh, the early espresso for our sentiment and um, the uh, early espresso for our ship and the Sahara sand for our mask here's a tool I'm using it's got a nice circular end and I'm going to use that because I'm going to show you how we're going to shape the sails because the sails are going to have a nice 3D uh, 3D shape to them so they're not just flat and I think it really adds a lot to the project again here everything is in is uh, in the um, in the fancy folds uh, Halloween box card the box this particular PDF also includes a box card or rather a box envelope to use to put your card in so that's kind of an extra uh, attribute of that um, PDF these do fold flat I used a padded envelope mailer to post my card in the mail and send it off to my nephew and I think I'm probably going to send this one to my son for his birthday because he is a treasure okay so let's go ahead and get started okay I've already placed on my cutting sheet I've layered all my three layers the the Knight of Navy the balmy blue and the DSP I've layered them together and I have used my mint tape to hold them in place and you can see that that die will cut all three of those layers together and that is how you want to cut that front uh, layer for your for your uh, for your box card now the tricky part for me was this tape was kind of sticky so I had to very carefully pull it off and it's in, in some cases it kind of pulled a little bit of the cardstock so what you need to do in that case don't force it but pull in like an exacto use an exacto knife and then just very delicately um, just kind of scrape it and and get under the adhesive and it will come off and that is how I uh, I got that um, mint tape off but it was very effective in holding all my layers together and you can see how nicely they all line up and that is how 
uh, you cut everything at once. Don't try to do it separately. Then the next step you want to do is you want to bring in, and I said three on one, but it's actually three in one glue. And you want to put that on each of your layers. And what this glue does is that it, it makes the paper much stiffer than using a multi-purpose glue. And you kind of want to have like a nice stiff front for your box card. And then just go ahead and, and and uh, apply each layer using the three-in-one glue. And that is, I got that on Amazon. And it is a acid-free, crystal clear, advanced craft glue, fast drying, and very, very effective. And then it just kind of gives it a nice, nice, uh, nice stiff um, okay, we're going to pull in a, your base card and your top and bottom uh, pieces. These are in Knight, Knight of Navy. One is 6 by 11. You're going to take your 6 by 11 piece. You're going to put your 11, your, um, your 11 on the, along the top and you're going to score at one, at one, one half inch, one inch, one and a half inch, two inches, and two and a half. Turn it around, same thing. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. The other two pieces are three by four. You're going to put the three inch side to the top and you're going to do the same thing all the way across. One half, one, one, one half, one half, <laughs> one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Okay, you're done. Now we're going to bring in our bone folder and we're just basically going to fold those into accordion folds and the smaller pieces are going to create three mountain folds once you, uh, once you crease those and you want to crease them as best you can using your bone folder. And those are going to go on the top and the bottom. They are what will help create that springy box card shape that um, for this uh, for this project the sides again just go ahead and fold so that the top fold is going to be that top edge is going to be facing towards the inside so just fold across out in out and the last fold should always be in so that free edge is facing inside. Now I've taken a piece of the uh, By the Bay DSP. It's a background piece. And that's going to be my background. But before you put your background on your 6x6 on the inside, you want to adhere your top and bottom pieces. And I just basically kind of stand up my card and make sure those edges are even. again and what I love about this glue is that if it kind of um, squeezes out along the edges this glue will dry and it will not be sticky the way multi-purpose glue is so that you won't um, it just basically uh, dries clear so here's the top there's the bottom we're going to use this DSP as part of that um, by the bay 6x6 and here I'm just going to go ahead and use some multi-purpose glue because I want to just get the, all that coverage all the way along that back piece. And this is just six by six. I didn't I didn't trim it at all. It's straight out of the pack. It fits nicely in the back of my of our box card. And again, just making sure that you get all those creases um, nice and. Uh, nice and crease tightly for in the top of your card. Now here is our mast here the hull and I'm just kind of poking out some of the pieces and our so when I say the mast that's the brown piece and then our our uh, sails are in very vanilla and we're going to go ahead and pull out two sponge daubers that I have for early espresso and we're just going to go ahead and sponge daub all the way around the hull of our ship 
just to kind of give it some dimension even along that that front um, uh, bow piece with your sponge dauber. Now you need two pieces of the mast in early espresso cardstock. That is the mast. That's what I'm calling the mast. Again, I'm going to use some of that glue because I want to uh, make this is where I want to make this a little bit stiffer. And I have that glue in a smaller bottle that I just kind of uh, have on the side for like detail work. And I'm just going to go ahead and I think in this case I'm going to give up with that. And what happened here is that my bottle is actually leaking and I had to, to replace it. But then I'm just kind of just putting some some of that uh, three-in-one glue there. I'm going to lay, double layer this and this is going to give me a nice stiff mast for my pirate ship. Now for your sails, go ahead and uh, cut them free so that each of your sails is separate. Now I'm using that, um, that rounded oval end and I'm just going around each sail and you can kind of see it's gonna it's going to fit on the top and it's gonna look it's gonna look like it's billowing out with it with the uh, the ocean air just go around and you want you want to make sure what I'm doing is I'm making sure that my I know which side that I want to um, shape so that I don't do it backwards so that's why I'm kind of checking how they fit on my mast. And then I'm taking some uh, Sahara sand with a sponge dauber and I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, add some, um, daub some uh, color on the edges of my sail again to kind of offer a little bit of dimension for when I put my sails on. And I do that for uh, all three of my sails. And it just it just creates a really nice, very realistic 3D effect for your for your box card. Now I'm grabbing my skull and crossbones. I have my basic black with my foam adhesive, and I've just went ahead and I die cut that, and you just kind of have to carefully pull it out and you will need a sharp tool. I'm, I'm using the multi-purpose tool here to kind of poke out the eyes and the mouth and then I'm going to put that on my middle sail right in the middle and there are my there are my sails. Now to um, adhere my sails to my mask I'm using black dimensionals and I'm just putting those across for each of my sails. Okay, so now we're going to do our waves, and I'm slowing this down because I want to kind of talk through it. You're going to need two pieces of, of cardstock 
your first piece is going to be one and a qu one and three fourths, and the other one's going to be a quarter inch shorter. So that's balmy blue, about one and three fourths, and then knight of navy, which is going to be probably one and a quarter. Now there is a die that is uh, will cut the waves depending on what direction you place the die. So you can notice the top of this die has the cutting edge that's going to cut our first wave top. So you just want to go ahead and place that and there you go. Now the um, that thicker die is what cuts the the foam uh, piece that we're going to use. You notice how those two pieces go together. That's from our single die, but you, you look at our thicker die actually fits the shape that's cut from our thin die. So you want to flip that thin die around and make that, when you flip it upside down and use it on your Knight of Navy piece, that will cut the shape, and here it is, I'm going to take that off, that is going to cut the shape right there, you can see there's the two shapes, that's the top shape that we used and then there's the bottom shape, okay, that see how that top shape matches and then that bottom side matches the top of our our Knight of Navy, but we're going to take now some very vanilla and we're going to uh, with some multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back of that, we're going to use that thicker die, that thicker wave die, and that's what's going to cut kind of like those foam uh, decorations that go on our wave tops. So it's a little tricky, but if you just kind of play around with that one die, you can kind of see how it will cut both sides of the of the wave tops that you need. It's going to cut one wave top that doesn't match with that thicker die that cuts these embellished um, wave tops here and the other side does cut it and that's the side that we're that we're using with the Knight of Navy to um, to cut these wave tops and I'm just trying to eradicate these uh, or rather extricate extricate this uh, this piece from that um, from that very vanilla and then I'm going to pull off the backing of that adhesive sheet and then I can very easily just line it up to the tops of each one of those wave tops and create our our wave. Now I do have a couple pieces there that didn't quite catch the uh, multi the multi-purpose sheet so I'm just gonna put some of that uh, three-in-one glue in my smaller container. The reason why I'm using the three-in-one, I can use my fine tip glue, but don't use multipurpose because remember that's sticky if any of it happens to ooze out on your cardstock. So you want to pick something that's going to dry clear and not dry tacky. And that's either your fine tip glue or like this multipurpose um, three-in-one glue that I'm using. Okay, so that is how my waves are going to go. Um, uh, centered on my on my uh, my background and I'm just simply going to place how I want my ship and I want my sails so I'm kind of playing around I kind of like my sails going behind that that um, bow piece because that kind of gives you that that sense of dimension and if you have to cut down a little bit of that you, you know you have to use some judgment as you kind of play around with this on where exactly you want the your pir pirate ship how far do you want your your sails to be from your from your um, hull of your boat and then I'm just using some some black uh, dimensionals I'm just going to place that first and then I'm going to use some black dimensionals to kind of, and I have both the mini and the regular to place my um, my mast with my sails. I'm just going to kind of put my sails, and that 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 way that it looks like you know the pirate ship is coming towards you. All right, so that's the key part is to to center that, and then I'm just using a very sliver of dimensional. I'm cutting off of the edge of my um, 
my dimensional sheet just to kind of make sure that I that my uh, my bow uh, is uh, is secured. So I kind of like, um, you know, I'm kind of placing it. Where do I want it? I'm going to fold it. I'm going to cut it again using my um, my little trimmer. So this is where you kind of tailor it to where you want it to uh, to fit. And then I'm going to. add some um, some dimension some dimensionals and I just I uh, I use all my dimensionals even the edges there I especially like my edges for for pieces uh, like this where I just want to kind of make sure it, it adheres on the on the edge like that and then I'm going to kind of um, then place my Knight of Navy piece on top using dimensionals again and there that should be there that that looks nice there and then when we we place our our top it should be very well centered so there you go Now here to to um, adhere the tops, uh, you can use glue if you want. I like to use tear tape. You want to put your tear tape to the very edge of your uh, of your cardstock. There, um, pull that off. Then then very carefully just line that up, and it's going to be it's going to fold over like a book. And then you match it on the other side. You're going to pull off that tear tape there fold it over again match it it's going to fold over like a book match your edges and your corners and then the last piece pieces that you're going to adhere are going to be your top and bottom pieces again I, I you can use tear tape or you can use um, some fine tip glue or some of the three in one something that's not going to ooze out and be tacky so I don't recommend the multi-purpose glue because if it oozes out and then you you um, try to send this in the mail it's going to be tacky and it's not going to spring up it's going to catch on that other glue so there it is um, the hardest part of the card is put together so let's just sit back and watch putting together the rest of the card
So there's our pirate box card featuring the On the Bay DSP and the On the Ocean bundle. If you want to put a sentiment on the back, which is what I did for my nephew's card, just put a piece of uh, very vanilla cardstock. You can adhere it to the back. You can put another sentiment or even write a note and sign it for whoever you're giving it to, which makes it very easy. If you haven't done it already, please like and share. All products are available on my online store. They will be a link. If you do buy the bundle from me, then you will get the PDF for free. Go to my blog for any of the project details and they will have the links for the project PDF. If you're looking for a demonstrator, please consider joining under celebrations where you get some extra products. Uh, join as a hobbyist for $99. There's absolutely no, no obligation. This is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Thank you so much and happy stamping.